At Marchese Pilings, we've had over 15 years of experience designing later living apartments and residences. Um, so we, we, we've, we understand how and what drives people to move and to live in these spaces, but we are actually constantly challenged challenging what we're, we're producing um, and the way we're doing that is we're looking at every single space, we're looking at every apartment and how people use those apartments, how they use the bathrooms, the kitchens, how much time they spend in them and do they need to be that size and then again how does an elderly person use that space as well. So I think the future of design is really going to be testing and, and pressure testing those designs and those spaces so how, how does somebody who's 85 really actually live and use, utilize the space. We know that they spend more time in their apartments, but how, how much time do they spend in the bathroom? Does the bathroom need to be a certain size? Does it need to be as big as it is? Do we need to have two sinks? That's something we've been looking at. We've got two sinks in a lot of our bathrooms and en suites. Is that a good thing if you've recently lost a partner? So we, we are looking at all of these elements and really challenging sizes and spaces. And then when you look at the amenity spaces on the ground floor, again, we're challenging those spaces. So we think that there's going to be a lot of flexibility, depending on location and in the future, in terms of how much amenity space we put in these, these elements and then tying that back to the resident and their experiences through life as well. So I think in terms of the way architecture is going to change, it's really going to become a lot more personal-centred, personal-focused in terms of the resident rather than the built form per se.